Mark gets my goat. Show gets first every time. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that uh, that. Gosh, that sounds almost familiar. Well, Richard Matheson wrote a story called Button Button. I'm right, assuming yeah, that that's I what you're that. going for. No, there's. I'm, I'm thinking just just breaks her arm, not. It doesn't die. It's not not a permanent damage. It's just a small amount of pain, kind of a thing. I, I I still think that that would be something I'd have to turn down, because not that big of a deal. Okay. Well, have you ever read a short story by Stephen King called Quitters Inc.? Oh yeah, yeah, that's. A good and in that one, he he's a guy who's trying to quit smoking, and a friend of his says there's this company called Quitters Inc., and if you sign on with them, they guarantee you'll quit smoking. And he's like, I haven't smoked in you know a year, and I don't want to smoke. And the guy signs up for it, and there's like a nasty clause on this. And the first time that you're caught smoking, we're going to give you an ele- electric shock. And the second time you're caught smoking, we're going to give the family pet an electric shock. And the third time you're caught smoking, we're going to give your wife an electric shock. And the fourth time, we're going to cut off one of her fingers. And it's like an escalating right. kind of awful thing. So the only time anything happens to him is the first time. Just so he knows what it feels like, I guess. And it's back when Stephen King was particularly nasty, but at the same time at the top of his game. And it's a riveting story, you know, one of those kind of things. Where it's like, wow, that's a good story. It's in Night Shift, I think. Or is it in Skeleton Key? It's one of those two, his first two collections, which were the absolute best he ever did. But yeah, one of those where it's somebody else, maybe that makes a difference. But if a guy came to the door and he said, I will make you pretty and you'll be able to be handsome and popular and women will fall in love with you and you'll have all the things that you were never able to get. You walk in and sit down at a job interview and they'll say, well, this guy's handsome. I'm not even going to look at his resume. Welcome to the company, sir, but I'm going to have to pull out all of your fingernails. I, uh, yeah, where are the pliers? I would, I would still <laughs> sign up, even though that to me is kind of horrible. The idea of having all your fingernails pulled out and the amount of pain for the length of time that you would be in pain is pretty awesome in the actual meaning of that word. Let's say 50 pounds for the rest of your life. But we have to pull out all your fingernails. Go. Yeah. See, when something like that, when you when it's actually you that it happens to, I think it's a little easier to take that choice. And for one, fingernails grow back. They do. It's not like they're cutting your finger off. That doesn't grow back. And I, I don't know how fast fingernails grow back, but let's say it takes a while. Let's I, say a month from now, you'd be back typing and doing all the things yeah. that you normally. I, I don't know. There's been a few times when I've uh, done some good damage to fingernails or toenails and it does take a while for them to grow back. At our family vacation last year, I slipped uh, when we were trying to cross a stream. Ray, it was don't cross the streams. Very mossy. What was worse is I had my daughter on my back. I was trying to carry her across the stream and I slipped and went down into the stream and I kicked my foot really hard against a rock and just shattered the thing and it was busted pretty high up and who was uh, crying harder you or your daughter funny thing was yeah it wasn't really she was like we that was fun you're like "Ah." yeah neither of us i was mostly worried because i had in my pocket digital camera cell phone my keychain which had a usb stick on it testicles and one other i can't think of what the last electronic device would be that i had in my pocket your father's pacemaker i think the last thing was just my wallet which had the least damageable things in it but all those things went into the stream with me and i was just like oh crap did i just ruin everything that i own did i just lose all the pictures we've taken so far in this trip and now i have to buy a new camera and a new phone and i just lost all my stories because they're all on my keychain ah i was freaking out about that and i was very happy when i was finally able to take those things and try them out and make sure that they all still worked did they they did yes luckily it was a uh, the only damage was to my toenail but it took a while for that to come back i think it's it's only been like two months since my entire toenail is now all the way back and when did this accident happen i think it was july it's february now yeah so it was, it was around december that my toenail finally uh and it was also bruised it was like had a big black spot on it mm. and yeah that black spot slowly remained, moved up yeah it remained forever I had a dog bite me 
a few years ago, and he bit me right above the tip of my finger and his tooth tore through my middle fingernail. All the, so it was split down the mm. middle. And that was quite painful. But yeah, that's the closest I've ever had to actually having a, t- a fingernail torn out. Can you, um, well, just to have like the raw exposed flesh. Yeah. And and you know what? Maybe we have no real nerves uh, down there, but I would imagine because it hurts so much when you get something under your fingernail or you yeah, bite it off too much and tears. It must be a lot. It's probably one of the two or three most sensitive places. Plus, uh, you, you wouldn't have so many people putting bamboo under fingernails in, in Vietnam films and stuff like that if right. it didn't hurt beyond the levels of, of just normal. your knees or whatever. Although you see a lot of kneecaps getting shot in movies, and apparently that's quite painful too. Uh, someday I'll find out. It's funny you talking about your split fingernail. My dad had that. I think he hit it with a hatchet or it, it, oh, jeez. Something to split, some stupid act to cut it with a knife or something. So it was right down the middle of it. And the funny thing is, he, he's got this weird like lump where his fingernail comes along and then there's a big ridge where the scar and the everything grew back. Luckily, I, I mean, you don't have that on your finger. Yeah, I'm I, assuming I, I, I lucked I've ever, out. I've never looked that close at your fingernail. But yeah, my dad has this strange bit of fingernail going because oh, of that. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> and, you know, maybe it was a lot deeper Could than be. mine was where he actually harmed the skin underneath where the fingernail grows. Right. But wow, that... The, the, I, really funky looking. Okay, so did we get an answer? The the guy says all of your fingernails, but you'll never have to exercise for the rest of your life. You never have to diet. Hell, you'll live an extra five years probably. That might be something that I would have to accept. It might be worth the pain because trying to get all that fat off is going to be a painful process. It's not going to be a sharp pain like ripping a fingernail off would be. I knew a guy who had real foot problems when I was in South America. He would get ingrown toenails on Mm. both of his big toes. Ingrown toenails hurt like the dickens. And they would be really bad ones. They would just jam in there and they would be really swollen, puffy and pussy and nasty. And he would have to get his toenail removed to keep it from bothering him. So every yeah, I, I was there one time when he was getting it removed and he was just like, ah, oh, but... I don't think it was to a point. I mean, it, I guess it depends on how they remove it as to how much it hurts. <laughs> Meat cleaver. So there is that. I don't know. Pliers. We didn't put that into the deal. How how the toenails. Nail are, gun. Fingernails are removed. He lived through it, obviously. But yeah, he would have both of his big toenails removed every few months. And he would have to walk around in Tiva sandals all the time i don't know what that is they're sandals that are like have extra straps to make sure they stay on real good oh okay but losing the toenail was actually less painful than the ingrown toenail i think that was the idea you know the the thing that i've always thought was the worst you know you break your fingernail and it goes up above the line where you're i don't know what that's called uh, cuticle cuticle or whatever or especially on your toe, it's when you have to take a shower that first time <laughs> you stick that exposed flesh under the water. That always stings so bad. But after a few days, I guess your skin grows over the top of that. Or I don't know what the deal is with that, how that protects it. I could probably handle toenails or I mean fingernails. It would probably be worth it for the rest of your life. Yeah, if it was just a year or something, I don't know. <laughs> if you lower the term on that, it might not be worth it. Well, somebody, I like Abby Hilton, who is a, a she's a voodoo high priestess. <laughs> no, she she works in the medical, in, in, in she wrote Calorie Catchers. She works in the medical industry and she would probably tell you how long it takes for fingernail to grow back. So I mean, if it was like three months or whatever, that's probably not worth it for a year. Uh-huh. But for the rest of your life thing, I guess you have to consider it. To be continued. That Gets My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have to be, but it is.